Okay, so we're gonna make a collage today and we're gonna kind of reference an art history, like a famous painting from art history. And so um, what we're gonna do, here's a good example. I'm gonna make this bigger so you can see it. Um, so here is the original painting. It's a black and white version, obviously. But um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through magazines and we're gonna cut and paste things together to kind of interpret this painting into a collage. Okay, so we need to think about backgrounds and um, they kind of like cut this leg from this person, this leg from another person, this part from another person. You can see this arm is like black and white. So we're kind of piecing things together as we go. Here is a, another example. Okay, here, look, here's the original. This is a Picasso and here is my interpretation. Obviously it's not done yet. Okay, so um, this one is approached in a very different way than this one, right? So this one, they actually cut like arms and, and legs and things like that. This one, I found just a big triangular area of skin tone and same thing across here. And this is just blue. So um, you, your job will be to interpret a piece of art history into a collage. Here's another one. Who does it go wrong? I, I don't have the original for reference there. So um, what we're gonna do, oh, I wanted to show you a couple of uh, more examples. Hold on, let me share my screen. Okay, so here is, here's an artist I'd like you to know about. His name is Romare Bearden. What's his name, everyone? Romare Bearden. Bearden. He is a famous artist. And he was really, really well known um, for, am I interrupting conversations? I would hate to do that. That'd be really rude of me. It's paused. Well, let me stop and try again. Maybe that'll do the trick. Thank you, Adeline. Okay, so uh, Romare Bearden, He's almost known, like some, some people call him the father of collage because he was one of the first artists to really um, take like things from magazines and cut them up and use them to create art. And so you will see a lot of like actual things from magazines and catalogs. And then you'll also see just plain pieces of paper in his artwork. So we're kind of drawing inspiration from Romare Bearden. Um, and we could look at Romare Bearden's art and try and copy it, but it's kind of silly to collage a collage. So we are going to look at, sorry, there's so many things to show you today. Okay, let's look at a couple of student examples. That one you've seen, here's a good one. So here are these people, it's like a little, family portrait and there's a pig in there for some reason. I think, oh, they did a pig instead of this dog down here. So um, you can play around with that. Here's a fun one. So it's not exactly like set up in the same way with the window back here and the girl sitting in her bed over here, but do you see how they're similar? Um, how many more do you wanna see? Oh, here's a good one. This is um, American Gothic with the pitchfork. So we have different things over here. Um, how about, I'll show you two more good ones. How's that sound? Um, here's a good one. Okay, so in this one, they kind of approached it differently. They did, instead of one big piece across the background, they did a bunch of like blue pieces so that's another way that you can kind of approach. And there's actually a fork for the pitchfork and it's um, Channing, uh, what's his last name? Is it Tatum? I, like yeah, I don't know. So you can kind of put famous people in there if you want, you can play around with it and have some fun. So how do we get started on this project? Number one, you're gonna need a piece of tag board. It's just paper, but it's a little bit thicker. Um, so you're going to want one of those to collage on and then I'm going to cut up these reference pictures and I'm going to lay them out on the, how about, 
Miss Jensen here. I'll put them over there on Lexi's table. Okay. And you can come over and pick one that you find interesting. There's lots of different ones. Um, and then while you are over there picking out a picture, I would like for you to stop in the magazine cabinet and I will put some out on the counter and you can grab a couple of magazines. And what I want you to do is just start searching for stuff that could be useful in your collage. So if you are doing like this dancing girl, um, maybe you look for arms and legs or something that could be the tutu. Um, or if you're doing this Picasso thing, maybe you look for, okay, I need these big triangles right here. So I need, what colors do I want them to be? Where can I find some flat colors or textures or things like that? So I just want you to spend some time today searching for stuff in magazines that could be helpful. Does that make sense? Do you guys have any questions about the project? What was our artist's name again? Oh, Romeo Bearden. Very good. Okay, I'm going to pause the video. Okay, so for the rest of today, you are just searching through magazines, finding things that might work. You can cut, but don't glue anything yet. Just kind of place them together. Remember, you're trying to interpret your original. I'm going to go ahead and stop the video for today. Yeah.